We good? Awesome. All right. So this is one of my favorite patients here. His name's Mila, and he got the coolest glasses and the coolest outfit all the time. So we're gonna show the world here what an adjustment looks like. Okay. All right. So we're gonna go on what's called the mommy table. That's her favorite. So let's lay on the back. Lie down. Lie down. Yep. Yeah. Let's turn your head the other way. Turn Can you walk this way? Other way. There you go. All right. So, the biggest thing with kids, we're looking for the, the sacrum and the upper cervical. So that's where the parasympathetic nervous system is. That's for healing, for resting, for digestion, and also for optimal development. And with kids, that's what we're focusing on is optimal development, especially for the brain. So when we look at the leg length here, the right leg showing up is shorter than the right. So, and Mila's had a couple falls which can distort the pelvis and also throw off the, the nervous system in the pelvis, which is that parasympathetic. I'm just getting some pressure right here, just for a little bit. Just for a little bit. Good. That's the ligament, the sacrotuberous ligament. Really quick, really easy. We get to feel through the muscles really gently. So I'm just putting about the pressure you would, checking the rightness of a tomato. So nothing, nothing too firm. And it's always comfortable for kids and babies when they get adjusted. Huh, Mila? This is nice, huh? You like it? Yeah. Oh, you do? Okay, good. Just a little bit of pressure there, that's it. So I'm gonna check the upper cervical. Yeah, so she's out on that side. Okay, let's actually lay on your side really quick on the mommy table. This is kind of tricky. It's a little sacrum adjustment, a little pressure. Ah, oh, that was easy. Huh. You're always looking so beautiful when you come in, too. You see. Oh, you're welcome. All right. All right, so just a little one right there on the atlas. Oh, perfect. All right, now we're going to do some skull work here. Now, 90% of a kid's brain develops by the age of five. So it's really important that the spine, the skull, are maintained in good alignment to promote optimal brain function and development. Isn't that right? All right, so she sleeps like really good, huh? Yeah, 12, 12 hours through the night, seven to seven. Oh my goodness, you're a good sleeper. And she is unvaccinated, right? No shots? Yeah, none. So she was born with a, a C-section, huh? Yeah. So C-section births can really cause a lot of strain and trauma on the neck, the upper cervical. So that's why we're doing a lot of care on the upper neck. And then how often would you say she gets sick? Mm, maybe, I mean, once every six months. Oh my goodness, that's not very often. Yeah. And then when she does, she gets over it pretty quickly, huh? Yeah, within like a day or two. She's back, back to her normal self. I usually get to see her when she has the sniffles, huh? She yeah. gets over it pretty quick? Yeah. <laughs> All right. And this is what adjusting a perfect, beautiful, unvaccinated, healthy baby looks like. All right, ready? What do you say? Can you give a high five? Oh, yeah. awesome. All right, thank you.